Hi, hello. Tonight, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my Zelda collection, which you may know is not in this room. This is my office. Yes, I have many Zelda things in this room, but those aren't my Zelda collection items. Uh, but it's good to have you all here tonight. I have a, a whole crew here in the chat. We got we got Ryan, Sir Plus. We got we have Pikachu, Peoples, Ralg. We got Sir, Sir Plus again. <laughs> I said it again. We got Toku Newt. We got, we got lots of folks here. Let me see if I get some background music playing here. There we go. Very light background music, just so it's not perfectly quiet behind me. Um, so yeah, tonight I'm going to be showing off uh, my Zelda collection. It's going to be a little weird. I'll explain a little bit more once I'm out in the other room. I do have a, a chat monitor out there. I can't promise I'll be keeping 100% eye on it during it, but uh, I will have portions where I'll stop and answer your questions in case you guys want to chat about anything that we're looking at. Um, but yes, welcome all. Good to hear. I have you here. I see Farthingale's here. So Mice is here. Nico Blazeman. Hi. And I don't want to alarm you all, but I am wearing a wire. <laughs> Wait, you're moving a camera over there too? There's already a camera set up over there. That's the thing. I have it ready. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all good. Um, so when I turn on my, my wire here, uh, I'm gonna have to switch microphones. So I'm going to sound a little bit different because I'm not gonna be using the Shure SM7B. I'm gonna be using uh, the, the Shure wire, <laughs> the wireless one here. So uh, uh, prepare for my audio to change here as we go over there. Um, we're gonna take our time. I don't have anything else planned for tonight's stream. I'll be honest with you. My copy of 3D All-Star still hasn't arrived. UPS has taken their time tonight. They say it's be, it'll be here before nine, so. Whatever. Uh, I have plans for that tomorrow. We'll talk about that at the end of the stream. But let's see if uh, if I switch my microphone on, what it sounds like. All right. So let me. All right. So I see it's working. Let me mute this microphone. And unmute this microphone. You guys should still be able to hear me. Tell me if I'm too loud. Or what what we need to do here. I can turn it down a little bit already. I see it's a little bit loud. Is this working though? Can you guys all hear me? a little loud how about if i turn it down here how's that is that sounding better loud and clear hopefully not too loud it's a bit scratchy i mean it's gonna scratch if i shake it i can't i can only do a little bit um we can hear you loud and clear all right it should be working though yeah and the cool thing is it's wireless so i can i can i can get up and i can walk over here look at that you guys can still hear me over here it's like i got a microphone attached to me it's amazing. Science. I can go back here. I can be like, wow. Hey, look at all these things. <laughs> yeah, look at all this. What the hecky? All right. <laughs> Goodbye, MC. Well, why don't we, um, why don't we switch cameras? And uh, it'll take me a second. I have to walk out there here. Um, but I do have a, a, a chat monitor out there. So let's hit the button. Ha. Let's see what happens. Oh, Comso. Comso, thanks for your resub. Hold on, I'm not in the other room yet. Here I come. <laughs> Here I am. Is it, is it work? Does it work? Can you guys see me and hear me? I can see you on the little chat here. It's actually very small. Let me make it big. Big. Oh, now that's too big. Okay. All right, where is MC? That camera is so clean, it's like I can touch you. Please, hello, please don't. <laughs> is this a shopping channel? Hey, welcome, hey, what can I interest you in? Right, side on pillow? <laughs> That's mine, you can't have it. <laughs> All right, it's working. I, I, it's actually really small, my camera. Let me see if I can get like a, a stool or something to put it on, hold on, hold on. My chat's a little too small. I have a chair. Look at this, ready? Da -da -da. Chair. Uh. 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 Look, I got chat right here. Da -da -da -da. All right. Cool. Now I can see it a little bit better. Hey, David, thanks for uh, converting your sub over. I bid 3,000 carats for the side on. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I guess an overview, eh? A, a first thing we should talk about is the Zelda collection as a whole, because 
It's, you're, you're not even seeing it all yet. You're only seeing what the camera can fit in its frame. We're going to have to move it around a bit. Um, <laughs> Treasure Chest is eating a thousand carrots right now. Uh, so, Zelda Collection. Uh, I think it... Okay, I don't know when it, my collection technically started, really. I said eight years ago on Twitter because I was like... I first started collecting officially shortly after my friend uh, Masis, who uh, owns the site Zelda Dungeon, came to Zeldathon and brought with him a crate about, you know, this big, full of Zelda items. Games and little knickknacks. And I was like, wow. And I looked at his, uh, his video of his home and he had a, a whole shelf, like two big shelves full of guides. And I was like, I want that. <laughs> I want Zelda guides. And so you know what I did? I started collecting slowly piecemeal. Of course, some of the things here that I'm gonna show you tonight are things that I've literally had in my collection or like I've had since I was a kid. Some of these things are much newer. Like I have things that are like, what's the newest item here? I don't know. I haven't been trying to collect it that much recently. I guess, I guess my newest item would be uh, Plushy Link, who is adorable. So, no guides, not guys. I did not collect Zelda guys. I guess I... But, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go through it. We're going to kind of step through it, and I will have to operate the camera, which is on a non-tripod. I call it a non-tripod because it may look like a tripod, but it's not a tripod. I kind of <laughs> made it all goofy. I bid 20,000 carats on the quilt on the wall. No. <laughs> Actually, we can, we, let's talk about the quilt first. Let me see if I can get a, a bit better angle here. And I'm going to kind of go uh, behind the camera rather than in front of it here for a bit here. Um, all right, so let's, let's move. No, please stop zooming, camera. So over here, against this wall, we have this uh, Zelda Thawne, specifically a Zelda Thawne quilt. It was made for me by the members of the Zelda Thawne team uh, for the 25th anniversary. It's a stitching together of a bunch of our Zelda Thawne shirts, and it's also signed by members of the team. For example, Gymnast86 uh, signed Urbosa's abs. <laughs> Smoople signed uh, Nehru's foot, so that's great. But yeah, we, we have signatures on here by lots of people. And uh, this is this is a nice item just because it's not it's like a an exclusive item. Like nobody else has this. It's it's mine, you know. Uh, similarly, uh, over here, that by the way, that's where the studio is. <laughs> that is a, a Link's Awakening uh, print that was done by the Yeti. Uh, against this wall, and you're not gonna be able to see it very well, there's a link to the a link between worlds poster design, but I don't have that hanging up. Uh, now, I'm going to go to the left first here. We're going to go to the left first, which is over here. Um, actually, against the wall over here, <laughs> all the way behind us now, I do have some Zelda posters here from the 25th anniversary and a map of Zelda 1 that's above our couch. Uh, those aren't, like, technically Zelda. I guess they're, they're Zelda collection items, but they're not in the Zelda collection area, technically. <laughs> But if we come over here, we can see that I have this uh, wonderful Triforce, I don't know what the, mosaic? Mural? What's the term? Uh, but essentially, it's all Zeldathon photos. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see these are all photos from like Zeldathon, like photos from our photo booth and stuff that are arranged to make a Triforce. This is another gift from the team to me, and I love it very much. Um, down here right below, Again, I have to kind of operate the camera in a weird way. Please give me a second. I have one of my first four figures items. So first four figures is a company that makes really high quality uh, statues. And when I say high quality, I mean they're really high quality and they're also very expensive. And I don't buy a ton of them, but some of them I couldn't resist, like this King of Red Lions one. Uh, it is wonderful that the sale is like actually made of like a fabric. Um, it's wonderful. There's actually lights in the base. It has to be plugged in. I don't have it plugged in, but I love this thing. This thing makes me so happy. It's right here. Um, kind of like a little bit separate from the Zelda collection. And, uh, 
Oh, what's what's that down there? You might be saying. MC, use the the camera controls. Don't don't try to pick up the actual thing. Is that copies of Money Making Game, the hit Zeldathon documentary? Wow, I bet I could get one of those at the Yeti.com right now. There's also Steel Magnolias. <laughs> so I guess there's that. Uh, let's uh, let's go over here though. Let's let's see how far I can walk my camera. Unfortunately, it's a little caught up. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh oh, what's going on? All right, here we go. So let's talk about a few things that are over here right now. I have this table right here. Let me see if I can if I can go visit it. Can I sit on the floor? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, welcome to my live stream. This is the, the weirdest angle I've ever done here. Uh, so this is a table that I kind of have dedicated to some of my Breath of the Wild collectibles. Uh, we have, um, well, this isn't Breath of the Wild, but this is a foam Master Sword. It's actually the best quality Master Sword replica that is officially produced. That's not a joke. They don't make actual Master Sword replicas out of steel or anything. They make official ones out of foam. And it's really good. The only problems with this, with this Master Sword replica is it has a copyright notice on it. Nintendo's branded the Master Sword with their copyright, so you know it's theirs. Um, which kind of sucks. But other than that, it's kind of beautiful. It's nice, it's good to hold. Um, some other items here. Uh, I have a incomplete Zelda coin collection. Uh, this was made by GameStop, and it was like a grab bag, loot, like loot bag system, loot box items. Uh, I didn't finish it because I was tired of buying loot boxes from GameStop. Would you buy one out of steel? Out of uh, Master Sword? Yes, if I had the money. The problem is there are really nice ones made by some really great prop makers out there. Uh, you've seen them maybe on GDQ as prizes. The only problem is they are over $1,000. And you know what I don't have? Over a thousand, well, I mean, I technically have over $1,000 in savings, but it's not for Master Swords. It's for if I get hit by a bus, you know, you know, you know? Okay, anyways. Uh, Delta Whiskey, I will not be showing off any cast artwork, unfortunately. Um, I have a Sheikah Slate pillow. Nothing exciting here. Couple, couple copies of Breath of the Wild, the Explorer's Edition. And the uh, this one has a, a special name as well. Eh, I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's in a bigger box. Um, we have the Master Edition. Now this is one of the more valuable items in my Zelda collection because this was a limited time release, limited number release, um, and it contained a statue of the Master Sword, it contained the game, the Sheikah Slate uh, Switch holder, um, and other goodies. But either way, it was one of the more rare releases out there. Uh, these go for almost $1,000 sealed. This one is not sealed. I've opened it because I like it. In fact, I think I have a Master Sword in here. No, I don't have the Master Sword in here. It's, it's out. But uh, this one's a, a really nice item. Uh, I have the ERP. The ERP. This is the official Guy Deluxe Edition. This includes the DLC, I believe. Does it include the DLC? Hmm. I don't know if it includes the DLC. No, it's March 2017, so it's before the DLC was released. Um, but it is another rare item. It is a big hardcover book. It's actually so big, it can't fit in my bookshelf because it's literally just too tall. It is too tall. It doesn't fit in any of my shelves, which kind of sucks. Um, I have the Creating a Champion book. This is a special edition. I think I've shown this one off on stream before. It includes some bonus goodies, including a, a replica spirit orb amongst other things. It's really nice. Um, it's in a blue box. I kind of like it because it's a good base for making this like little Breath of the Wild stack like this. It's kind of nice for that. Um, other miscellaneous items in this central area. We have some <laughs> Breath of the Wild coasters. We got coasters. They have <laughs> like the Sheikah Eye symbol on it here. Um, I have this, which is a non-official item. It's an iPad case, 
but I use it to actually hold ugh, various items from my Zelda collection that don't really fit anywhere uh, or I don't have, want to display right now, like some of Link Between Worlds art. I think I have some Ocarina song books in here. I have some things that were distributed by Materia Collective as like thank yous, and I didn't put those in my collection, so I have it in here. It's just an iPad case, it looks nice. Do you use the coasters or do you leave them there? I leave them there. We don't really use coasters in our home. Uh, this is a Sheikah scarf that I use on the table, which is just an Ikea table, by the way. Um, now, what you might not be seeing is right here, there's below the table, there's a couple items, including the special edition of Breath of the Wild. This uh, is kind of like the Master Edition, except it doesn't include the statue. It included just the... Oh, goodbye, Master Sword. Please don't leave. And the other thing that's down here... Oh, <laughs> this is creating a champion, uh, the book, the blue one, except this is an even bigger, crazier edition that like includes a bunch of stuff and it's felt in it. I think I've done a feature on it before, but if not, I need to make a whole video about it. This thing is heavy as heck. This thing is like heavier than if I picked up the rest of this table with the stuff on it right now. It's heavier than the huge book that couldn't fit on the shelf. This thing is amazing. It's wonderful, Ugh, but it's so heavy. Um, so yeah, I keep those there. So that's pretty much my Breath of the Wild uh, section part one. Do we have any questions here? Let me, uh, let me look at the chat. The sort of collection I could only aspire to. Oh, I kicked the camera. Here, let me just do this. Oh, I got any questions? It's the trash can. <laughs> let's, let's cut the trash can out. You don't want to see trash can. Any questions so far before we continue on? <laughs> Hello, trash can. <laughs> Is it, is it a Zelda trash can? No, it's a trash can from Arctic's uh, college years, I believe. <laughs> I don't have a Zelda trash can. I'd like to have one. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit anytime. That white pipe behind you? Oh! Yeah, you, you are you, you seeing the white, wait, where, where are you seeing it? Uh, that's, uh, that's my air conditioning pipe that goes and vents into the rest of the house. Or into the into the vent in the house. <laughs> That's how my office stays cool while I have a giant computer rendering in OBS. Hey, OC, thank you for the resub. Uh, what does Zelda themed trash can be? I don't know, we figured it out. Anyways, let's go over here. Let's, uh, let's move a little bit. I think I need to reorient the camera here. That's the old man noise I make now. All right, let's. Let's change it to this angle here. I think I do a little bit more zoom. A little bit of zoom and a little bit more up. What do you think? Like that? Yeah. All right, so a couple items we have here. Uh, we have this giant Link statue. Uh, he came with that Master Sword and Hylian Shield. These things are made out of plastic. Like, I don't know if you, let me see if I can knock it next to my, my microphone. He is plastic. He looks pretty good from a distance, but if you feel him, he like look at his face. He's a Ken doll. Uh, <laughs> that, that like, despite him being like this, is like one of the biggest Link figures I have. In fact, I think it is the biggest Link figure I have. He's also one of the cheapest because he's just made out of hard plastic, and so it's not very high quality. But I like it, and it looks good from a distance, so I keep him here. There you go, Link. You may stay here. Um, a couple other items. I have Link Between Worlds, Link figure. I should take that one out someday. One that I don't really want to take out of the plastic is my Ganondorf action figure. I've talked about this on stream recently, about a story from my childhood about uh, someone who won one of these at my elementary school and then only wanted it for the horse and didn't actually like Zelda. That makes me mad. But I finally have this one. I still need two more for this. I still need the Zelda and Link uh, figures, which are in the same series, but I don't own them. Maybe one day. Uh, we have the Wii U Zelda box, by the way. This is uh, the, the Wind Waker uh, deal, uh, package deal. I have, this is a really cool thing. This is a replica spoils bag that I got at uh, Momocon. There was a seller there who's making a bunch of Zelda props. I don't have their name right here but it, it's really cool. Like the fact that it's a 
really well-made quality spoils bag replica. I love this thing. I want to put things in it, but I don't know what. <laughs> if you have suggestions, leave them in the chat. Uh, I like that spoils bag. Um, there's a little bit of a, there's a Link 8-bit fella there. He's like a little pillow, a little Hylian shield. And then uh, Big Papa in the back. Let's, uh, let's get a zoom just on Big Papa. Uh, Ganondorf, this is the Ganondorf Twilight Princess statue from First Four Figures. Um, this thing is amazing. He's huge. It's very high quality. Like it's in sharp contrast to the, the low quality Link statue on the opposite side. Uh, it's extremely detailed. His, uh, let me see if I can go over here. His cloak is fully fabric and can be posed a little bit. And he even comes with two heads. I don't have the second head here. It's in storage right now. But you're able to do this and just take his head off. <laughs> Which is, of course, always a good party trick. And he has one where he's like, his face is like, his mouth is open. He's going, ah! So it's uh, <laughs> powerful. But right now, <laughs> I can just take his head off. It's okay, though. I can put it back. See, he's much better now. <laughs> oh, no, his head. Yeah, why didn't Link just take off his head? Come on. Last I uh, actually, wait, hold on, there's two items here. Not my back. I have some Zelda playing cards. I forget what promotion these came from. Tingles the Joker, apparently. It was Japanese, though. It's a Japanese release, apparently. I got two packs of these because one of them I wanted to play with, but I haven't opened up either. Um, I have a, you'll notice the Zelda uh, playing cloth, or not playing cloth, it's like a, just a fabric that I put over the table just to make it a little bit more zelda -y. And last item I have here, and this one's a special item uh, because it's not because it's an official item that's very valuable, it's a very personal item. I'm actually gonna switch the camera so I can make sure I can see it properly. Uh, so this is a box, a treasure chest. It's actually a wine case, but it doesn't hold wine. Uh, it's signed by uh, Jaron Moore, uh, the producer for the Symphony of the Goddesses concert series. Susie Sider, who did uh, the uh, conducting for uh, a couple of their tours. And Chad Sider, who did all of the arranging for the main first tours of uh, Symphony of the Goddesses. Uh, they're great, they're, they're great people. I've, I've had the pleasure of meeting them a few times and uh, even working with them a little bit. They're great fellows, they work really hard. Of course, Chad Sider and Jaren Moore also did the Pokemon Symphonic Evolution series. And what's in it, you may ask? Um, I have a Wind Waker, which was made for me by a, a someone who watches me uh, because they're like, MC doesn't have his own Wind Waker. So the first Wind Waker I ever received was this one, which was custom made for me. Um, and I really hold that dear to my heart. Um, I also have in here uh, some of the programs from when I went and saw Symphony of the Goddesses, October 8th, 2013. Uh, so it's kind of like my... Uh, Zelda Symphony and also just some nice things. Some nice things that I, I hold dear um, from like the Zelda concert series. And that's one of my more personal love items. Personal love items. Tingle is the Joker. Why so serious, Mr. Fairy? I hate that. <laughs> hold on, let me, can I do that again so it's a good reaction? I hate that. There, now you can use it on your Twitters. Um, hey, Skippy, thank you for the resub. 42 months, appreciate you, the meaning of life. Quite indeed, quite indeed. So we're gonna move over a little bit more. Move over a little bit more. This one's gonna be a little bit harder for me to get a good shot on. Let me see what I can do here. I might actually move the table up. No, I, I can do it without moving the table. So I have over here just a couple of items that uh, this table usually doesn't stay here because the closet behind it actually has the rest of my non-Zelda collection in it, just game collection. Um, so over here I have some items that are of value to me that I don't have a place for them yet. They're more magazines and I would love to put these on a magazine rack specifically, but I don't have one of those. I don't know where to find one of those. If any of you have any leads on where to get a magazine rack, let me know. Um, I'll start actually on the right-hand side. Uh, this here is a, a Link Between Worlds card case that I actually use to put the 
Zelda playing cards in here, and Skippy's here, so thank you to Skippy for helping me out with these. Uh, these contain the Zelda playing cards, and I do not have a complete collection yet. As you can see, these are put in place of where, like, this hole is actually where a card should be, but I have a dang near complete collection of cards. Uh, there's only a couple missing. Um, on the rares page, it gets a little bit more spotty. Uh, I haven't put the time in to buy more of them because, I mean, they're expensive. They're expensive for a low percentage rate of getting them. But I have this inside a nice thing, which is cool. Snap. Um, next up, I don't have a complete collection of these yet, so this is something that I'd like to get more of. These are the Valiant Comics of The Legend of Zelda. This is uh, Zelda 1, and I also have Zelda number 5. Um, so yeah, I'm hopefully going to collect the rest of their series, but there's just two of them. I keep them in these with these uh, cardboard overlays so they don't get damaged. Um, so those are nice. Uh, here's two of the rare items in my collection. We have here Nintendo Fun Club News, which was the predecessor to Nintendo Power. This is volume one, number three, uh, The Legend of Zelda Guide. Uh, fall 1987, this was made here. Have you read the comics? I have not, I have not. I'd like to someday though. Uh, we, I've got a couple, what are you missing? I only have one and five, you just saw them all. Um, but here is Fall 1987 Nintendo Fun Club news. And I also behind it have uh, volume two, April, May 1988. The Zelda 2 cover. And these are nice. Uh, I need to put this one in a better protector. It's just in a plastic thingy. It's not very nice. Uh, I just, I've run out of uh, magazine protectors. What's up, Smoople? Welcome. Um, and then the rest of this stack is actually all Nintendo Powers or other magazines with Zelda covers. We'll go through these real quickly. The Breath of the Wild cover, Game Informer. Skyward Sword cover of Game Informer. Here's a Twilight Princess, Nintendo Power. Soul Calibur 2, Nintendo Power. The second Twilight Princess, Nintendo Power. I'm a dummy and bought twice on accident. <laughs> it happens sometimes. We have Minish Cap cover. Phantom Hourglass cover. Oracle of Ages and Seasons cover. This is a good one right here. The Majora's Mask cover. Look at that. With this, the gold text. This is one of my favorite ones. We're getting a little bit older, though. Here's the Link's Awakening cover. The 50th uh, uh, Nintendo Power issue. A Link to the Past. This one's not in a case yet, but I have... Skyward Sword. And my favorite Zelda game, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Uh, actually, it's because there's the, a big section on Ocarina of Time in here. So I... <laughs> but, <laughs> Turok 2! Let's, I mean, Turok 2 is a sick game. Let's be honest here. Um, and the final one in here. The final one in here. This one I need to put in a case. Um, this is the Ocarina of Time cover. This is my favorite Nintendo Power ever. I don't have a case for it yet, so I'm gonna candle it carefully and put it back in. Uh, I love this in every way. So I'm going to kind of put this in back in its case. I don't have, again, I'm out of magazine uh, protector, so uh, put that back here. And that's this table of just miscellaneous magazines that I want to put on a magazine rack. Any questions in chat? I'm rebuilding my collection. Please do, Token uh, Collecting is a nice hobby because it's also something that if you're not, like, if you're not financially well off, you can either make things of your own for your collection or you can just not collect for a bit, you know, and your collection will still exist. What's your favorite part of The Legend of Zelda Turok 2? Uh, where Link kills King Dodongo, my favorite dinosaur. Um, one thing here, I'm going to zoom out. And pan up a little bit. 
Uh, I have this giant Zelda map that I had custom printed, uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, because I was going to use it to track my Koroks during every Zelda 100%. Turns out that ended up being a stupid idea, but now I just have this kind of cool map. Do you own the coins? Are we talking about these coins? I talked about it a little bit earlier. Um, I, oh, menu, I don't want menu. Uh, I don't have a complete collection because I didn't want to keep playing that stupid uh, loot box with, with, with GameStop. Uh, let's see. I think before we go to the cases, I'm gonna pan up even more. So up top, I have some items that I'd like to show off. Uh, I'm not going to bring them down, but here, I'll, I'll do some manual zoom for you all. Uh, I have the Ocarina of Time uh, Japanese soundtrack. Most of these are Japanese. They haven't been released in the U.S. Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, the Link's Awakening remake. Uh, and then these three are kind of a collection. Um, we have... This is the game music collection right here. So that actually contains uh, several CDs of actual Zelda game music, like actual soundtrack from the games, uh, not reorchestrated or anything. Then we had the concert, which is a collection of orchestrations and arrangements. And then there's concert 2018, which was something similar to the other one, but uh, kind of focused on different songs that they didn't do before. Um, now let's uh, go more to the right here. I have The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. That is the Breath of the Wild. I'm sorry, pff, what? The Japanese uh, soundtrack on the left. I think I have a feature of that on Magic Meter. In the center, we have the complete animated series of the cartoon on DVD. And then we have the promotional disc Zelda Collector's Edition for GameCube, which was a pre-order item for Wind Waker. It includes uh, Zelda 1, 2, Ocarina of Time, and Crashy Majora's Mask. Uh, to the right of that, I have a few items. We have uh, Zelda Game & Watch, or sorry, Zelda, yeah, Zelda Game & Watch. It's actually, that's a gift for me, all the way on the left, from, uh, I believe it was from OC and Duggernaut, I think it was a collaborative effort, um, where they work to essentially unlock Zelda Game & Watch on Game & Watch Gallery 4 for the Game Boy Advance. The problem with it is uh, it takes a long time to grind to get that. I grinded the heck out of that copy. Okay, OC did as well. And uh, I very much appreciate the work on that because I, I love it and so it's up there uh, so I can play Game & Watch anytime. Moople, no I don't. I do not need that item. <laughs> uh, I also up here have the CDI games. We have Wand of Gamelon, Face of Evil, and Zelda's Adventure. Which, those are rare items. Those are rare items. And so I did put them up there, even if they're uh, a little bit not so appreciated in the Zelda fan community. I appreciate them. Uh, I have up here the Zelda board game by Milton Bradley. This is an old copy. Uh, I want to get it in a nice plastic protector, but I don't have one yet. Uh, next to it here, I have, this is one of my favorite items I own, honestly. And it's just a, a novelty item. It's the Wind Waker MCG Force. <laughs> but it's magnetic, so you can pull it apart. Uh, I love this item. Thank you so much for the gift, because this is one of my favorite gifts I've ever received. I love this thing. <laughs> I also have a little Triforce next to it. It lights up. But its battery will die quickly, so I'm not going to bother with it. Also, this is a great angle for me, isn't it? Oh, my knees can't bend more like this. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Can you do the thumbs up configuration? I, there's a thumbs up configuration of the Triforce? I don't know that one. Um, let's go over a little bit more to the right. So I have three figures over here. I have uh, Dark Link, this is a first four figures item. 
Uh, this one's one of their older first four figures. Like this was released around the time of Ocarina of Time. Uh, I have Scadavo. This is first four figures, but it's from their uh, plastic series. Like it's not expensive. Like this thing was, I think, less than 50 bucks. Oh, him was like 200. <laughs> then Ganondorf from Wind Waker. This thing was more in the 500 territory. Uh, I, I love this. Ganondorf from Wind Waker is one of my favorite characters of all time. So he's up there too. Uh, now let's go even more to the right. Let me get a better shot. I need to do some, some angling here. Uh, up here we have Link's crossbow training for the Wii. Freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Color, color changing Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. Tingle's Balloon Fight DS. Uh, so the uh, Tingle game, freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land was released in Europe and Japan, not here in the US. Uh, and then the other two are Japan only titles. But there are fan translations for at least color changing. And then over here I have Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, and Hyrule Warriors. You might know them as Hyrule Warriors. Soon there's gonna be another Hyrule Warriors. Say Hyrule Warriors 30 times fast. Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors. Warriors. Okay, um, let's go look inside the glass, shall we? The glass is the, I don't say the piece de resistance, but uh, it's some of my more favorite stuff that I've been working on a lot because I recently got these lights in here. Let's uh, angle down. Oh, I'm running out of cable, everybody. Ugh, let me zoom out. Let me see what I can do here. Hold on. So with these displays, I try to make them each like a dedicated to one game, one game a piece. So right here we have Twilight Princess. In this area, I have uh, the HD re-release, GameCube, Nintendo Selects, and the Wii version. I have the Zelda and Link Figma figures. I absolutely love uh, the way I have these looking. Um, let's go to the right. Over here, we have my Wind Waker display. I have a gamepad, the Wind Waker gamepad. I have a Wind Waker. Uh, the Japanese version of Wind Waker, uh, the Wii U re-release, a grandma selfie postcard, uh, the Nendoroids of Link and Zelda, and a mini Gandorf figure, as well as an actual Wind Waker, which was an official release from Nintendo. Uh, we go over more to the right. Running out of cable. I'm running out of cable. This is my Skyward Sword display. And in the back, I have the Real Action Heroes Link figure, which uh, is a fully posable and very high quality figure. Uh, he's pretty tall. <laughs> he's tall. Um, I have the Figma Skyward Sword, a copy of Skyward Sword for Wii. And I have a, cute, a couple little items in here. Let me see if I can open it actually and show you. Um, let me switch my camera around. Oh, I'm recording by accident. Oops. Now I have that on recording. Uh, I have a couple miscellaneous items, like a little master sword. Most of these have small little miscellaneous items. Like I have this uh, 3D printed small key. I thought it looked nice with the Skyward Sword stuff. Um, I also do have a uh, master sword in its pedestal. This was a GameStop item, real cheap, but it looks nice. This base can actually glow if it's plugged in, but I don't have it plugged in currently. Shuffle, shuffle. That Nendoroid Zelda is so cute. She really is. Real action figure Link Pog. Yeah, it actually is probably one of the most Pog-worthy items in the collection, in my opinion. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't play with it much because uh, it's actually kind of hard to pose. <laughs> Down here is the Majora's Mask featurette. In here, you'll see I have my uh, Skull Kid figure. We have a little bit of Majora's Mask artwork. Majora's Mask for N64 and the 3DS re-release. I have a little bomb chew. I have the Zelda 3DS, Majora's Mask Edition, and some other little Majora's Mask knickknacks. MC, I miss you. I miss you too, Liz. Here's probably my favorite feature that I have inside these glass cases. This is my Breath of the Wild one. Uh, there's the other real action heroes link uh, in the back. I have the Wii U and Switch copies. I have the 
um, Master Sword from the Master Edition of, of Breath of the Wild. I have the Link and Guardian Nendoroid figures. I have a Spirit Orb, uh, which is a custom-made item. And then just some various props and items from the Link figure. Oh, is Sheik falling down? Uh, you guys are seeing a little bit of spoilers for the Ocarina of Time one. So in the Ocarina of Time here, we have uh, the uh, special game disc from the Wind Waker pre-order. We have the Japanese edition, uh, both on N64 uh, and GameCube. I have Ocarina of Time on N64 and the 3DS pre-release. Um, I have some other little various figures like a Zelda Link. And yes, Sheik has fallen down. Uh, and right here, the kind of centerpiece is from Songbird Ocarinas. They have a really nice replica Ocarina of Time that it, it, it is an Ocarina and it works. And it's really nice. This is another one of my more favorite items in the collection. Hold on. The tablecloth got stuck in the thing. Got it. MC, did you ever find those special Link Gandorf Ocarina Time figures that the Nintendo catalog offered? Nintendo catalog? I'm not sure of that. Uh, you'd have to send me a link to them. The Snap Together 3D Triforce, is that uh, 3D printed? Yes, it is. It is 3D printed. Those are very nice cabinets. They're IKEA cabinets. They're the Detolf, D-E-T-O-L-F cabinets. Uh, the lights I bought from Amazon, they're specially made for the Detolf cabinets because there are lights that Ikea sells. They're like, these will work for the, the Detolf uh, cabinets. Turns out those suck because it's, those are just like one light at the top of the cabinet. These are individual lights on each uh, of the shelves, which looks much better. Uh, let's go down. Here's a link to the past area. A little bit of zoom, a little bit of zoom, a little bit more. Down here I have A Link to the Past, uh, both on SNES and Game Boy Advance. I have five, six copies of the Game Boy Advance one to play Four Swords. Uh, got a little Cuckoo Perler. I have a giant version of the cartridge which actually holds a t-shirt. Uh, that was a GameStop thing. And I have a little piece of fabric here, um, which was a release only in the Nintendo Tokyo store that is a gift from Farthingale. Well, I mean, I paid for it. But Farthingale got it for me from the Nintendo Tokyo store. So thank you, Farthingale, who's in the chat right now. Why six copies? Four swords requires four. Uh, and I got two more. Um, and let's go over here. <laughs> Here's the Zelda 1 and 2 area, both on NES as well as Game Boy Advance. And I have a couple little perler items there as well. Nothing too fancy for that one. Over here, I got a better angle on it since we're getting some spoilers. Uh, we have Oracle Seasons and Ages for the Game Boy Color and Link's Awakening for the Game Boy and the Switch. I do not have a Link's Awakening Deluxe in box. Can you believe it? Crazy. I also have uh, two extra copies of Seasons and Ages in, in here each because, again, I have a problem. Uh, I also have the Zelda Game Boy Advance, which I believe was a Europe-only release, or am I wrong? I'm wrong? I don't know. I made a whole video about it. It's one of my most viewed videos on my channel. <laughs> and uh, the Link's Awakening Deluxe Japan release I do have. And that one was a gift from Arctic for my birthday uh, last year, I believe. Or two, birth two, two birthdays ago but I love it so much. Um, let's go down more. So down on the final shelves, the last row, this is my Phantom Hourglass Spirit Track section. You'll notice I just have some various items, including the DS Lite uh, Zelda edition. Uh, there's actually a Zelda Phantom Hourglass uh, stylus in that little Navi case at the very bottom right here. 
Oh, I have some other knickknacks, including some Tetra Link figures, a lunchbox. A lunchbox? Thanks, Woody. A uh, little guide in the back there. And, of course, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks on the DS. Let's go over here. This one's a full, a full cabinet, you'll notice. Um, I have in here one, two, three, four, five... 3DS line consoles, one 2DS, one original 3DS, a 2DS XL, um, a 3DS and a new 3DS XL. So we got like one of everything, all Zelda editions. I have the Link Between Worlds Link Figma. I have a little standee and please take a close look at this one. Ugh. Of Link playing the 3DS that's right beside him. This I got at Momocon, this I love. I was like, this has to go in here. It has to go in there. Uh, Triforce Heroes is also here. I like Triforce Heroes. MC, a big fan of the 3DS. <laughs> Not as much as you would think. They just keep releasing 3DS with Zelda. I'm glad it's. I'm glad the 3DS is dead. <laughs> now I don't have to buy more of them. <laughs> How much did you spend at Momocon? Let's not talk about how much we spent, and let's go look at Four Swords Adventures. The last, the last case, and it doesn't have much in it. Oh, and Minish Cap's here too, because uh, unfortunately, as more games are being released, I'm running out of spots. <laughs> so Minish Cap got put in here too. I have a nice little Octorok figure, uh, and the Japanese and English versions of Four Swords Adventures. Okay, I don't want to spend talk about how much I spent there either. Good. So that's the glass cases. Let's get an overall look at it, shall we? Let's uh, let's get one overall look at the glass cases. There we go. These are some of my favorite things I bought. Was these Detolf IKEA cabinets? Um, I recommend them. They're not that expensive, honestly. And like, if you combine them with the lights, overall not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Uh, Absolutely the centerpiece of my Zelda collection. I love it so much. Um, where do we want to go to next? You might be saying, wait, there's more? Yeah. <laughs> we'll start at this top shelf up here. A little zoomy action. So over here, I kind of put some of my more miscellaneous items but I still think a lot of them are still worthy of putting out. Um, I'll actually go over there and show them off. I wish I had a place to put something like that, but the place I'm renting is tiny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, I saw one, one question there. What does it look like with, with, uh, with the lights or without the lights? I can turn those out uh, when we're finished. And it doesn't look that good. <laughs> so this is my uh, thing here. Uh, up top. Just some things I haven't found a good place for yet. Some fan CDs, Rosin's Termina, Children of Termina, uh, Zelda Cinematica by Sam Dillard, Hero of Time, Twilight Symphony, Ocarina of Time by Super Guitar Brothers, and a Zrio promotional disc. These are just some fan uh, albums that I don't really have a good place for yet. I have a little link up here and a little Mac car. Uh, I also have this Master Sword. It's a foam plushie with a little rupee bag. It's nice. Uh, in this cabinet area, we have a few cool items, uh, including some Nintendo Tokyo exclusives, including this tie. This tie is one of the coolest items from Nintendo Tokyo. You can only get it in the Nintendo Tokyo store. It doesn't ship to the United States. Uh, this was, again, Farthingale who got it. Same as this... Zelda pen. I'm going to get a focus on it. Whoa. Eh, it's not going to focus. It's too thin. I believe in you, camera. Camera doesn't believe in me. Uh, I have a Breath of the Wild soundtrack in the back. We have... Oh, here's a special item. We can talk about this. So this ocarina is from Songbird Ocarinas. And I got this when I believe I was 10, maybe even 9. Uh, I begged... My, my grandma for this, and she got it for me out of Nintendo Power when I was a, a wee child. And I talked recently on stream about how I played this in front of a live audience. And, uh... <laughs> 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 
you know, and uh, <laughs> this is what I had when I was, uh, this is probably one of the older items in my collection. Um, and it's just a nice little sweet potato ocarina. So this is a ancient item from my collection. Behind it is an item that I've featured on, uh, on the internet before, which is a, let me back up here, a Ocarina of Time. Oh, the battery might be dead. Okay, so. So if you play the song. It does the thing, including like you, you can do. This is a cool toy. It has a free range mode, so you can uh, do. It's a toy. Sorry, I forgot how to do it, Jamie. Um, yeah, I have that there. I have a little Zelda box that actually contains a bunch of tiny items, which I'm not gonna make a mess of. I have a lunch box, some Nintendo Tokyo stickers, again, by Farthingale, who got them for me. And here's a co cool item. Look at this, so this is what the Famicom uh, cartridge looked like for Zelda 1. But this is not a Famicom cartridge, it's a calculator. When you turn it on, on, it's a calculator. And if you do like one plus one, you get two. And now are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? This is the coolest thing about this calculator. If you type in 1986, oh, I didn't type 1986, 19. 1986, the year of Zelda's release, and hit enter. It plays the whistle! <laughs> cool item, right? Cool item. A, a, a Japanese calculator. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> uh, I like this thing. <laughs> so it goes there. That's shelf one over here. That's actually cool. I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can angle down. Okay. I have to make that noise or else my camera doesn't work. Oh, we're all tilted. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Come on, camera. You got to work with me, buddy. We're almost done with this area, I swear. All right, um, some other items here in this area. All right, that'll do. Um, there's some really cool items here. I'm gonna go through a couple of them though. I have these replica medallions from Ocarina of Time. I have the full collection. Nothing really to talk about for all of them, but they're here. Um, I have, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have Zelda on VHS. <laughs> we got just a gold cartridge. I signed it. Apparently, I was going to give it to somebody at some point, but uh, I never did. So now I just have a signed cartridge of Zelda 1. I have the Zelda game watch here in the back. It's a watch that has Zelda game on it. Um, it's like the game and watch, but it's actually more of a watch for your wrist. Um... I have this really cool, and I got this one, I think, at TwitchCon. Uh, this is a Link's Awakening design. It's a 3D design. It has, like, a little Link in here playing the instruments of the Windfish. This is very nice. I like this a lot. And over here, I'm going to talk about this. So you might be saying, MC, it's just Hyrule Warriors again. This is one of the more exclusive items that are in my Zelda collection. This is Hyrule Warriors Limited Edition. 
the US release. While this saw a lot of release in Europe and Japan, the United States only got one limited edition and it was released at the Nintendo New York store. I believe it was limited to like 500 or less. This is one of the most rare items in my collection. Uh, you can't find this. It's just not out there. Uh, so it, 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 it's, it's beyond rare. In fact, it's kind of dumb that this pretty over, over, like overwhelmingly kind of whatever box is so rare. It has the game in it and a scarf. That's it. I have the scarf in the game, but you put them together in that box and it becomes one of the rarest items in Zelda. Can you believe it? All right, let's uh, look down a little bit more. This is kind of my bonus Majora's Mask shelf. I have a lot of Majora's Mask items. Uh, you'll see I have one of the promo standees. Thank you, Campy, for getting that for me. Uh, my Link and Epona statue. There's a video on that on Magic Meter. Uh, I have some extra albums of Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess. I have this VHS. VHS, oh, menu. VHS of Majora's Mask with Banjo-Kazooie sneak peek. This was tw uh, given out at Toys R Us. To, to like, like, be like, hey, hey, buddy, you're going to want to buy this game. And so they give this to you when you check out as a way of teasing you. So that's a funny item. Um, similar to my Link's Awakening one, I have to be a little bit careful with this. I also have this, which features Dawn of the Final Day. And the cool thing is this clock works. I have the battery for it, but I don't actually keep it on, mostly because it makes a ticking noise. And if this room is silent, that ticking noise gets on my nerves. I kind of go crazy. Uh, so it doesn't turn right now, <laughs> but, but I like it and I have it. All right. I think we're going to do something wacky here for the next little bit. I'm going to lower my, my stand here and I'm going to expand the camera view like this. All right, let's hopefully see if I can fit in here with it. All right, that works. So let's, let's sit down. I can't really see my chat from here. I can kind of see it. Yes, I, I do have a corner of soft things. There's a bunch of uh, plushies here. I'll give you a better shot at them later. Um, I have some miscellaneous items right here, like Zelda Uno, <laughs> uh, some boxes of the Zelda train card little plush ocarina, uh, some puzzles, nothing of particular note. But down here, I have two shelves and I don't want to remove these items. So I'm just going to tell you and, and I'll do it kind of quickly because I know you guys don't need to hear about every single book I own. Uh, but I have this. Very mediocre book ocarina of time visual no it's like it's like a novel version of, of ocarina of time but it's also like a guide it's kind of bad uh a notebook i have the hyrule taste of the wild cookbook um i have the shadow prince this is a nintendo adventure book i have a skyward sword guide I have the A Link to the Past manga. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, an uh, Zelda anime is a fan project I have here. And then here I have a bunch of guides. These are all guides about this thick right here. Legends uh, of Localization, which is the tale of how Zelda 1 got localized. Legend of the Hero by Carrie Fry. Uh, the Big Book of Zelda, which is a generic book of Zelda things that's not made by Nintendo. I have uh, Breath of the Wild guides. More hardcover guides, some Hyrule Warriors guides, some other various guides. I have Hyrule Warriors, the or I'm sorry, Hyrule Historia, the original Japanese release. Uh, this is before we knew it was actually going to come to America at all, so I got that. 
I have the collector's editions of Zelda Arts. This one's probably one of my favorite items in my collection. It's leather bound, gold plated, <laughs> and uh, collector's edition. I think it was a limited release. I don't know how much it was limited by. Uh, I also have the English versions of Creating a Champion, Arts and Artifacts, Encyclopedia, Hyrule Storia, and then the Japanese editions of uh, Creating a Champion, Masterworks, Encyclopedia, and uh, Arts and Artifacts. I have all those books three times. I'm kind of a mess. Please help me. Um, you can kind of see behind me here, I have a big box from the 80s, which actually has Mario artwork on most other sides, but it has some Zelda artwork on it. I don't know where I got it, but I like it. So I have that there, as well as another Zelda box, which was made by me and my family when I was young. And <laughs> over here, closer to the... Closer to the... I have some other various and um, I also have some puppets including this kind of scary Zelda hold on let me let me, let me put on the Zelda puppet on. hi I'm Princess Zelda and there, there she is Princess Zelda everybody um, so I have that uh, items a switch shiny Zelda things I have this unofficial but good-looking master uh, I have some gadget decals and a writing set which I talked about on So that's the core of it, but uh, let's let me show you a couple more things before we wrap up and do question time. Um, oh yeah, let me give you a better shot of the plushes. There they are. I have seen them. I have some items that I haven't really put anywhere yet. That's that pile of things. Uh, and above on the piano, I have Pikachu, Link, and a Yoshi dressed up as Ravio. And is that most of it? Did I get it all? Not really, because there's still stuff like there are posters that you can't really see up on the staircase. But they're there, just believe me. Is that a Zelda branded piano? No. I wish. Um, let's see this. Cool. Hold on. Let me let me get this camera in a better place. Oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> All right. Floor camera. Okay. Come here. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's put it right here. Let's lock it in place. Well, it's actually you need to here. Yeah. 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 All right. Um. All right. Question time. If you have any questions about the Zelda collection, now's the time to ask them because I've kind of gone through everything. I have the chat up and I can see it better. So. Now's a good time, now that we've kind of gone through the lot of it. Have I missed anything major? I don't think so. I think we got most of it. Can you repeat everything on the top shelf of the books? Because the audio is cutting out a lot. Um, okay, well, thank you for letting me know. Um, the Zelda manga, Twilight Princess manga, Zelda Philosophy, Ocarina of Time novelization, uh, Shadow Prince adventure book, a notebook, Zelda, anim Zelda anime, which is a fan project, a bunch of guides, Legends of Localizations, Legend of the Hero by Carrie Fry, and the Big Book of Zelda. 
What's your favorite piece of merch? Favorite piece of all of this. Favorite piece. I'm tempted to say it's, and this is just for uh, nostalgia reasons, which is the, the Wind Waker with the Symphony of the Goddesses uh, folks signed it. This thing is, I don't know, it's just a special item to me. It's a, spe a very special item. So I, I would say that. Uh, I saw a question asking for most expensive item other than the first four figures. And even with the first four figures, the most expensive is probably still the Master Edition of uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, these sell for $600 opened. So, probably this. Um, if not that, um, maybe the Higher Warriors Limited Edition. Yeah. Very jealous of your collection? Well, don't don't be too, too jealous. Uh, it's been an eight year project. It's not like it happened overnight. It's not like I had a sudden windfall of cash. I'm just like, whoa, I gotta buy everything. And there's still a lot to buy. I'd like to get all the Japanese games at some point. There's still rare, more unique items. And at this point, I'm mostly interested in less like, let's get the big ticket items and more about, let's get kind of cool items that are fan made. Like I love my side on pillow. You know, this is a fan creation. Nintendo doesn't sell this. I love this. It was like, you know, 30 bucks. And I support an artist. This is what I like, you know? That's what I like to see. That's more fun to me as a collector at this point. I started the recording again. Oops. Can't end it. Help. Does anybody know how to operate a camera? All right. I don't. I think what else I would like to do is, other than the Japanese games... I'd like to start making some stuff myself. But I'd, I don't know if I'd want to put them on display because I don't think they'd be very good. Hardest thing for you to get your hands on. Good question. The Ocarina, okay, I can talk a little bit about the Ocarina of Time cover of Nintendo Power. It's not the rarest thing in the world. You can find it on eBay relatively easily. But I really like to try to find items for the collection in person rather than online if I can help it. And, like, I would always go to my game store and I would always search for that issue Nintendo Power in their system every time we went. And I never once found it. They had stacks upon stacks of Nintendo Power. Every time I'd go there, I'd go through their entire thing looking at the volume numbers. Uh, and I eventually gave up and bought it online, so I guess that's a specifically good story of it. Do you have any vinyls of Zelda music? Yes, I have uh, the Rosin uh, music, uh, Sins of Hyrule, Ballads of Hyrule, and um, Children of Termina. And I have uh, one or two more Zelda albums from Materia Collective. They're in my studio, though, so I'd have to show them off some other time. Have you ever considered making ocarinas, MC? It's pretty fun and not hard to get into. I have not. I don't know the process for that, but that's interesting. What's the thing you have the most copies of? Now, I know we talked about A Link to the Past, which I have six copies of, but it's probably Ocarina of Time. Right here I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven copies of Ocarina of Time, and that doesn't count any digital copies. There is no digital copies of A Link to the Past on Game Boy Advance. That's six copies right there. Um, so probably Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time probably have the most copies of, of anything. I think Ocarina of Time is... <laughs> Did you buy Ocarina of Time 20 times? I'll buy it again. Nintendo says it's on Switch, you gotta pay $10. I'll be like, wallet prop, and you know. Sad. I had an idea, but it, it can't work right now. <sighs> you unlock Luigi if you buy it 25 times. Well, he'll be he'll be here soon then. I didn't really show it, but it, it was in kind of in the background. I have 
This Symphony of the Goddesses poster, it's not hanging up anywhere right now just because it's so big. Um, but I'll probably put it up at some time. Same as. <sighs> this Hyrule Warriors availability poster. Is that the 3DS Legends? Yeah. Uh, let's see. If you could add anything to the collection right now, free of charge, what would it be? Oh, anything? Majora's Mask Legendary Edition or Collector's Edition. It's a limited time release of Majora's Mask that included like a t-shirt and stuff or Adventure Box, I think it's called. And it's this big, it's big and green. And it was like limited to like a very select number of copies. It's very expensive, like thousands to get. I don't know, I don't have it, I want it. There's a book you can get online called uh, Art of Ocarina, make it for like $10, has the basics uh, to physical mechanics, how they work, highly recommend. Huh, I'll think about that. Do you think the new Higher Warriors game will go into the Breath of the Wild case or with the other Higher Warriors games? Um, it depends on what type of collector's editions we get. Um, I'll have to see when it comes out and I'll have to see where I want to shuffle things around. Maybe I'll turn like one of my shelves on the side into a Higher Warriors area more specifically since it already has Higher Warriors over there. Um, everyone is my fault is playing 3D All-Stars and I'm here distracted by MC's Cool Room Tour. I'm, my copy might be upstairs. It didn't arrive yet so when, I, when I started the stream, so that's sad. Um, did you get the Legends Cookbook? Yes, it's upstairs with the cooking books. What is that A Link to the Past map covering in the back? Uh, this over here, this is a, a Link Between Worlds uh, fabric. I really don't know where I got it. I completely forget. Um, but I got it and I was like, that's a good thing to cover up this otherwise unremarkable uh, stand. Stand. What is behind the camera? No fourth wall? Are you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's my living room <laughs> where we sit down and watch <laughs> television no oh, don't zoom stop it's my nose <laughs> why we don't that's why I need a cameraman and also I need my I left all my tripods at Zelda Thon in case you're wondering why I'm having such trouble. <sighs> Hi, Axie. Hello. I think I've covered all the questions in chat. Is there anything else I need to answer? I'm falling apart. My 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 hair is like melting. Oh, I got a I got an easy button. Is that important? But I have it set to Italian. Tutto più facile. Tutto più facile. Which means that was easy. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. It's kind of weird to stream from the living room like this. Like, usually when I stream, I don't get to walk around. I feel like I'm doing a vlog. I should, I should like say a sentence and then go over here for a jump cut. And then I should. Camera. And when it's all cut together, it's going to look really, really stupid. There. So if anybody edits that together, it'll make it look like a vlog on YouTube. It'll be great. <laughs> What's your full address and a time frame when you won't be home? Uh, 123 Zelda Lane. And I won't be home ever. Or I won't, I won't ever not be home because there's a pandemic. It's very special to have a spouse willing to put up with a collection like that. I'm very grateful to Arctic because he let me have this half of the room. And in fact, he likes it and he's helped me with it. Um, what's the most silly item you have in your collection? Silly? Other than 
the giant plastic link. Giant plastic link is pretty funny to me just because he's so plastic. Um, I have off camera here. I'm going to count this as silly, but I don't really know what to do with them. I have these pins, which are the buttons, worms. Or I could probably bake it any song, but they're like the, the, the C buttons and the A button. And I've had it before in a configuration to make it like song of time. But I don't know, it's kind of silly. I don't know what to do with it. Where did you get the giant Breath of the Wild map? I took a giant file that Dark Decay supplied me and I ordered it from a website that prints foam boards. <laughs> I, I, I ordered it. Did you know most ocarinas can't play Zelda music? play this I, I i don't think you're right i don't think you're right I don't know what you're talking about, though. Uh, look up David Eric Ramos. He can prove you bet wrong better than me, I guess. The triangle, my Thank triangle, you, Jamie, for resubbing a triangle, oh, triangle for 74 true. months. <sighs> yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't know if that was a bait just to get me to play ocarina music badly. But if it was a bait, you got me. I feel really YouTuber-y right now. Do you have any other mini collections for games other than Zelda? All right, are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? All right, let's do it. Oh, hold on. Here's the other video games that aren't Zelda. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> Back in the closet. <laughs> Nintendo! What? Oh my, I got a skit. Everybody have a skit. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, everybody. Everybody, hold on. I have a skit. Okay, everybody. Everybody watch this. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Ready? All right, scene. And action. I'm really glad three All Stars came out. A really good game. Oh. Nintendo! <laughs> it was in my closet the whole time! Here, here, you forgot it! Here you go! And enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, cut. Print it. Twitter, go crazy. Alright. MC, it wasn't bait. There was a clip on. LSF, I don't know what that is. Talk about Ocarina that are out of tune. You have to send it to me. Good clip. Good skit. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, I don't want to talk about everything in here. 
because I really don't. Uh, my hope for my uh, non-Zelda collection is to one day make it full of games that are all bangers. Because right now I have games such as Hat in the Hat for the PlayStation 2. And I want to have more games in here that they're good games even if I wouldn't play them necessarily. Such as Red Dead Redemption for the PlayStation 3. You know? That's what I want more of. When it's kind of a hat, not a banger. I, I don't know how to answer that question. I think Cat and Hat PS2 didn't revolutionize gaming. I'm saying a lot of things. So guys, uh, in case you're wondering about how this stream came together, I read this wonderful book called How to Shoot Video That Doesn't Suck. This stream's uh, cinematography has not been a testament to this this book's quality. <laughs> Think like a director. I 100% I that garbage trash in that game. <laughs> I'm glad. Why do you have that book? Uh, because believe it or not, <laughs> I actually am interested in film. Uh, cinematography and lighting. What's the story behind the Virtual Boy? How did you get it? It was a gift from Lucari Mew. Um, and I, I, we got it fixed at um, our local game store. I don't really play it. <laughs> There's not really much to play for it, but I have it. I would never guess so of you from your history and hobbies. Did you know that MC made a movie? Money making game. Uh oh, uh oh. Why today? Where'd you get that figure of Skyward Sword Pirate? I'm surprised that exists. Uh, uh, I don't remember where. You can Google Scarevo. By the way, I did not shoot for any of the film of the movie, so. Actually, that's not true, because I probably shot some of the B roll. I shot footage that made isn't also shooting video that ends up putting on your job? Yeah, it is. That is my actual job. You guys want to watch a, a videotape? Let's watch uh, Pokemon, the first movie on VHS. Anybody in? Adult Adventure, the top right. Yeah, we already covered all the Zelda collection at this point, Doug. At this point, we're kind of like doing recap. Got Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door cover of Nintendo Power right here. Look at that. Guess who's on the back? If anybody guesses which character is on the back of Nintendo Power, I will give you 10 subs out to the chat. John Cena, Zelda, James Bond, Bowser, Kirby. Kirby's kind of close. Cheek, Tamek, the most interesting man in the world. All right, I'm giving I'm give you five more seconds. Mega Man. Nobody guessed. Boo. <laughs> it's Boo. <laughs> You want to know how old this is? It has information about an F-Zero game. Kind of sad, isn't it?
That was actually a gag, by the way. I threw this other cartridge lightly at the piano to get the noise. Uh, and I threw that one at the, at the couch. So, it was a gag. At this point, if you can't tell, I'm just chilling. Oh, by the way, there's uh, drawers in here. It has controllers. Like everybody's favorite controller in the world. Generic PlayStation controller. Who could forget? Oh, you guys want to see a good game? Here we go. Who wants to play this one? Does anybody want to play Guitar Hero On Tour Decades with me? It comes with the original Guitar Hero On Tour. For the DS. Guitar Hero on Nintendo DS. Can you believe it? Yes, you do want to play? I could stream it. I have the technology. Do I want to stream it? Guitar Hero DS stream win. Probably never. You have Mario's Missing. I do not have Mario's Missing. <laughs> I'm sorry if you see me looking down here. This is where the chat is. I'm not just like praying every time I, I'm thinking about chat. Blessed be you, chat. Um, yeah, I think I'm at the end of this. I'm actually going to go back into the other room so I can sit down and chat with you in the air conditioning rather than out here in front of this bright light. Let's turn on the good microphone, shall we? Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to my office. Here's some trivia I learned while doing a graphic project on Charles Martinet. He first voiced Mario and Mario Dismissing. That's true. That's a true fact. Hey, Ryan, thank you for the resub. Did I miss any, by the way? Uh, I think I got everybody. Oh, Shiny. I didn't say the thank you to Shiny Colk. I don't know if you're still around. But it's so cool what I do is press the button. Hopefully you get paid in dome form. I will. Oh, I gotta say, this room with its cool air conditioning is very nice. <laughs> you guys want to know what I found the other day in my wallet? You're gonna, you're gonna laugh. A relic of last time I went outside and used my wallet. When last time I went outside with my wallet, I voted. And I just discovered my I voted sticker now. And it's almost time to vote again. <laughs> You've an awesome Zelda collection. Thank you, RT. It's it's my pride and joy. Uh, my pride and joy. Ugh. Four years ago. Yeah, I was outside four years ago. No, no, this is I voted in like primaries type of deal. It was a lovely time. Ugh. Thank you all for uh, your patience and asking me questions during this. Um, I didn't want to do a long stream tonight. I had to admit, I'm I'm still kind of on the mend. Uh, in case anybody's wondering for updates on gallbladder situation, I'm going to be contacted soon to schedule my surgery. Uh, I, t I spoke to the people about getting my, my gallbladder removed, and they basically said, uh, just eat a low-fat diet for now. You'll be fine for now. We'll schedule out uh, a surgery date in the future. So um, not a big problem. So, uh, chat, I don't want to derail the, the current subject too much inside chat, but I will say this much. I do recommend you to vote. 
if you if you're interested inside a nice site that gives you information on how to vote and uh help, helps you discover who you want to vote for i know this is like out of the blue uh go to vote like a uh it's made by the mythical crew uh who do good, good mythical morning and other shows uh they have a nice site that's uh pretty good at helping you find uh, who you want to vote for vote as well um yeah I don't really have anything to, to tell you more for other than that. Um, but I do think it's important that I tell you about what's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a very special stream. Because I will be playing. Actually, did, did my copy arrive? My UPS package was delivered. I have Mario upstairs to go get. Um, tomorrow, I'll be streaming Mario 3 All-Stars. And I'm going to be setting it up in an, in an interesting format where I will be more than likely uh, playing all of Super Mario 64, uh, 70 star. But based on basically how all of you continue to support the stream, you guys will be able to unlock more stars slash shines uh, to be played on the stream all the way up to playing through all of Mario 64, Sunshine and Galaxy in one stream, which would be about, according to my estimate, about a 14 hour stream. So, tomorrow night is going to be a fun night on stream. So, if you want to see me play Mario 3 All-Stars, tomorrow's going to be fun. Tomorrow's going to be very fun. Um, but we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a good time with that. That's going to be at 8 p.m. going to be a long stream tomorrow, which is why, because I'm doing a long stream tomorrow, I'm going to take the rest of the night to chill. And uh, I'll be back here tomorrow for you. Thank you for watching my Zelda Collection stuff, by the way. Um... Thanks for streaming. Thank you. No problem. Um, I do have a very important raid for you tonight, my friends. Tonight we're going to be raiding Pokathon. Uh, this is hosted on the, the Jaywitz channel. They're raising money for Direct Relief all weekend. Uh, it's a great organization. Of course, I'm a I'm a Direct Relief boy. I don't have my I didn't Direct Relief merch in here, do I? Wow, that's unusual. Um, I work with Direct Relief, so I love them. I'm biased, but uh, I've helped uh, out the Pokathon crew for many years. Uh, they have a large group of really great streamers working on it, and uh, you should go hang out with them. So we're going to go raid them. If you're able to donate, please do. If you can't donate, that's chill. Just hang out with them. Maybe spread the word. Thanks for your stream. It's always cool seeing your collection. Yeah. Um, that's all for me. Love you. Bye.